This video has been made available thanks to 42nd Street Photo. Celebrating over 50 years of service in the photography and video industry, check out their full line of products at 42photo.com. What's up Geeksters? It's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Today as you guys can see I have an iPad mini case and this is something that was sent to me free for review from Studio Credence and it is the Studio Credence uh, iPad case and as you can tell this is a book style case and it is a beautiful beautiful case probably one of the nicest cases I've ever received for my iPad mini. Um, as you can see here, this uh, is made to look like a book. This isn't the first time a case company has done this. We've seen other case companies do this before. But the uh, the quality and craftsmanship in this case is very nice. This is actually a genuine hand antiqued leathered and suede uh, case, the materials in here. And the inside has a really nice plush soft felt interior. So the quality of the case is really nice. You can tell it's handmade and it looks it looks pretty pretty classy. Um, as you can see here, it says my pad on the side. Not exactly centered, but I mean it's handmade, so I guess you can't expect too much there. You can see the little emblem there. It's kind of a little bit off to the side a little bit. Same thing with the here. It says Mini Edition uh, 1903, so that's kind of interesting. But as you can see, it looks like a genuine book. It looks really sharp, really nice, really good details. Now, granted, the case is very thick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, if, if you're really big on having an iPad Mini and having it really thin all the time, that pretty much doubles the size of the iPad Mini. So it's it's very quite thick. But the trade-off to that is that it, it's be very well protected because the the flaps of this that are holding this here are very stiff, very thick. They're not. Uh, this doesn't split in the middle or anything. This is one full piece in the back, one full piece in the back over here. It does have a little flap right here that you can uh, place forward to use as a uh, as a case right there. Zoom out a little bit. So if you want to uh, view it like this, a couple different angles you can view it. As you can see, there is a magnetic enclosure built into it. So when you do open it up, it does wake up the screen, which is pretty nice. And uh, so let's check this out while it's inside in, in, inside the case itself. So while it is in there, we have our headphone jack, which is pretty easy to get to. Not, not a big issue right there. Scroll over to the side. The uh, the volume buttons and the, the locker sw lockout switch right here are kind of hard to get to. And uh, let me see if I can get a closer up of this. And it's only because that the way the shape of the iPad is, it's kind of rounded off the edge. So it may be kind of tricky to get your fingers in there to, to, to mess with those settings. Something you kind of get used to, but, uh, you know, for those of you that, that may become an annoyance. So just wanted, something I wanted to point out. Get to the bottom here, lightning connector. Just one big opening so the speakers are not being blocked off. Have our lightning connector so that fits in there just nice if you have a long cord. I'll pop it open right here. As you can see, it does it does turn mag turn on the the screen automatically with the magnets. Um, we have a home button here. The home button's not being covered up at all, it, and it is pretty thick leather around the edge. And you can see there, that is quite a, a thick layer of fabric on the whole edge right there. Um, get to the back. I don't want to forget about that. The camera hold pretty matches up pretty pretty closely right there, so that's not an issue at all. And even on the front, the cutaway uh, doesn't have any issues as far as impeding the camera on the back right there. So that's that's pretty good as well. And uh, so, like I said, this is quite a thick case. You guys can see right there. So the one issue where I, that I have with the thickness of the case, I don't really mind that it, it, the, the overall case is thick when I'm just carrying it around. I just think it looks really nice. But the one issue where I noticed that where the thickness is kind of an issue is on this lip right here. And whenever, whenever you're watching videos or whenever you're doing Netflix or things like that, I do notice that the bottom corner, it's hard to press buttons in that, in that bottom corner right there because it's like so close to the edge. It doesn't line up perfectly with it. So that's just one thing that you would want to consider. Um, it may become an annoyance at times. And I don't think every case is the same because, like I said, they are handmade. But uh, that's probably the only complaint I have about this case is that the, the edges are very close to the screen itself. So sometimes when you need to get the buttons or controls and the ends or the corners, it's hard to get your finger into there to get it to respond. Um, besides that, though, I mean, overall, I, I, I still plan on continuing using this on the iPad mini. Um, even with that one that one complaint about the screen being really, really uh, close to the edge of that, I don't mind the thickness at all because it's still it's still a lightweight case. It's not like it's really heavy or bulky. Um, I just think that the way it looks and the style of it is just too cool to just pass up and to not use it. So, um, obviously, this is not going to be for everybody. This is only something that for this particular style that some of you guys are going to be interested in. Keep in mind as well, it does retail for $89. So, it's a $90 case. And that's not, that's not cheap by any means. But I believe that the craftsmanship and the quality in it is really nice. If you can just uh, overlook those few other things that I mentioned as far as the thickness goes. Um, I think this case will last you a really long time. And so it looks sharp. It looks nice. It's very well made. 
and it's very good quality. So that's pretty much it for me today, guys. If you have any questions about this case, the uh, the Studio Credence case, go ahead and post those questions below, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. If you uh, want to purchase this case yourself, I'll put the link to that in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please show some love to the like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to stay up to date with all my all my content on YouTube. And as always, make sure you guys stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in news and tech reviews. I'll see you guys in the next video.